Hey guys, it's Mark Thompson here, and I'm super excited to be officially announcing our social kickstart app, which is our ultimate Facebook marketing solution. Now, before we launch this officially to the public in a few weeks, I wanted you guys to be able to take advantage of a one-time lifetime access to this app, which um, when we launch this in a few weeks, the enterprise plan, which is what you guys are gonna get access to, is going to go for $99 per month. So if you get in now, um, you'll be able to unlock unlimited access to it at a one-time cost. So this is the time to take action today. Now, um, we already have had months of beta testing. We've had uh, tons of authority um, Facebook marketers inside of the app and they're using it already on a day-to-day -day basis and they absolutely love this thing. So what I wanna do now, I'm gonna switch over to my desktop and I'm gonna show you guys inside of the actual application and all of the cool features and, and functionality that we've built in. Okay guys, so welcome it inside of Social Kickstart. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to uh, link all of your fan pages inside of the application. So then you can start um, researching content, posting it, um, scheduling content, and then I'm gonna show you all the really cool tools and features that we've added inside of, of Social Kickstart. So what I'm gonna do to get started, this is the dashboard. All you need to do is click on Create New Campaign. It's gonna open up all of your different fan pages. All you need to do is just click on the fan pages that you want to import into um, into social kickstart okay so say that I wanted to you know just um, I'll open up a whole bunch of these here okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on create campaign and what it's doing is it's going to link all of those pages that I wanted to import right into the application Okay, so now that they're loaded in, you can see the number of likes that the current fan page has. You can see the number of um, posts that are currently in the queue. So if you're going to be scheduling content, you can see how many posts you have currently in the queue. Um, and then how many posts have been completed, okay, um, or actually posted to your fan page. Um, you could also see the last time that the fan page was updated. And then you can also get insights in terms of, you know, how many um fans you're growing over time okay now what I can do is I can say that um, I want to focus on this Miami Heat fan page okay I can click on view campaign and what it's gonna do is it's gonna show you all of your posts that you've done on your fan page okay and it shows you um, almost like uh, fan page analytics it's gonna show you the number of likes the number of shares the number of comments um, the total reach and the total engagement for each post that you publish onto your fan page okay so really really cool stuff now another feature that we've built into this is as people are commenting you could actually click on reply to comments and it's gonna load up any comments on that post now what you can do and I mean we can find one that's uh, you know a little bit more <laughs> engaging here um, let's go to um, this one has uh, three comments here you know I could select these people and I could um, post a mass comment to these um, to these people now this is great for list building if you know people who are engaging with your your content you may want to say hey we'll make go go sign up for um, some sort of a sweepstakes or a free giveaway that we're doing through our fan page um, go opt-in okay you can build your your email list really really fast that way so this allows you to quickly respond to commenters um, very fast okay now the bread and butter of this uh, of this app is going to be the research and and the publishing of content okay um, which as you guys know in order to grow a fan page you need to make sure that you're actively publishing on your site and that it's it's engaging content what I can do is click find content and now you can see I'm gonna click on Miami Heat okay I'm gonna click on the fan page that I want to start publishing to and we have different content sources that you can curate content from or do research now um, right now we have four different sources we have Facebook pages Facebook groups Instagram and YouTube okay now that's at the time of this recording okay we're going to be adding Pinterest we're also going to be adding uh, a, an in-depth um, Mimi search I, I know if you guys know what a Mimi search is it's the photo with the you know the um, the the the, they usually have some sort of a headline over the image those go viral really really easily so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna in this example I'm just gonna do a Facebook pages search and I'm gonna put in Miami Heat okay because um, that's obviously what, what this page is targeted around and it's gonna go out to Facebook pages and find all of the relevant fan pages around whatever keyword that you put in
So now, as you can see, it's loading up all of those fan pages. It's showing you the total number of likes per fan page, the number of people talking about it, as well as the category. Okay, so I can go and and look at all of the content that these um, that these fan pages are posting. Now I see this one here, this Miami Heat memes. Um, I know that these go um, viral very very easily. Um, they have over twelve thousand fans. I'm going to click on Get All Posts. And it's going to go out and it's going to grab all of the posts that they've done on their fan page. Okay. And now what I can do is I can see the update. I can see the number of likes and the number of comments per post. So I can see which content is really engaging and which is not. Okay. Odds are if you find content that is engaging elsewhere and you go and you publish that same content on your fan page or you tweak it a little bit, the, um, you're going to get the same type of response. Okay. So what I can do, um, you know, here's this, this, uh, uh, picture of LeBron James he's picking his nose you know they have this headline that says pick and roll um, 130 likes 29 comments um, and so what I can do um, you know I can just publish the, the picture if I wanted to or I can go in here and I can edit any of the content here you know um, LeBron is that you you know they have this little picture of, of him as a child you know and I could add like click like um, if you uh, like this photo or so, you know, some whatever you can edit it how you want to. But as you can see, there's been 146 um, likes and 14 comments. Now I can either post this right now, and it's going to post it, um, you know, with the image and the edited uh, uh, um, comments here, um, or post, or I can schedule this. Okay, I can schedule this for later. Um, you know, I could schedule this um, in July. You know, say whenever July 11th at 11 o'clock, and I can click on schedule. Okay, and let's go, and it'll schedule, and it'll post. Um, at that time. Now, as you can see, this is you can publish content extremely fast with this application, and this was just one way of finding content. Now, like I said, there are um, uh, lots of different ways that you can search. You know, I could search Instagram. Okay, I can click on search. And now what it's going to do is it's going to find all of the relevant Instagram profiles that I can go and curate content from. Okay, so now it's loading the fan pages, it's loading the total number of photos per user, followers, following, last time it was updated, and I can click on any of these here, so say that I want to click on this Instagram profile, and it's going to go out and it'll show you the number of likes, the number of comments, it'll show you the image, it'll show you um, what was published, and then you could also edit that, um, or you could also remove the image and put, put in something different if you wanted to. Okay, but just think of how easy it is to publish content onto Facebook now and content that you know is going to go viral, right? Um, again, same same uh, things you can do with, um, whoops, let me go back to find content and say that I wanted to do the same thing with YouTube, okay? I can do the same thing with videos now, okay? Finding relevant YouTube videos and see which ones um, are being commented on, on and now the now this is a little bit of a different view you can see the total number of views per video the number of likes the number of dislikes the number of comments okay and you can embed a video right onto your fan page and you can just see here um, what again is going viral and what is not okay and I could post this right now if I wanted to okay and boom there it is and it's done you know um, so it's really really fast and what I can do now, I can go back to post, and I can see everything that's been published. I can see everything that's that's being scheduled. Okay, so say that I wanted to go to my Miami Miami Heat page. Okay, and here you go. You can see that I just published this video. Okay, to my fa my fan page. Okay, if I click on schedule, it's going to flip over and it's going to show you. Um, everything that's in your um, queue to go out and it'll tell you when it's supposed to go out um, uh, and it'll show you the image and what's what you um, what you wrote okay so that is how the publisher works okay again it's it's curating content from other sources where we know it's viral content because we can see what what people are sharing what people are liking what people are commenting on and this is what's going to help grow your fan page exponentially exponentially okay now a few other things that I wanted to show you. Okay, we also have this tool section. Okay, the tool section, we're adding new tools into this on an ongoing basis. Okay, we the first one is our Teespring research tool. Okay, I could put in again a, a keyword that's relevant. 
If you guys are not familiar with Teespring, um, Teespring is a great way to monetize your fan pages with T-shirts. Okay, T-shirt campaigns where you can publish uh, a relevant shirt and you know uh, publish it for a limited number of time. You know, and um, you can make money off of these shirts. Now with Teespring, there's no upfront cost to you. You create the design. If if you don't sell whatever your goal is, then they just don't print the T-shirt. But if they sell the number that um, that your goal is then you make a, a, a percentage of every sale okay and teespring handles all of the creation of the t-shirts and the shipping to to every buyer okay now what's cool about this tool is you can actually see all of the different t-shirt designs what is selling what's not selling okay you can see the goals here and it's automatic as it's finding more and more um, t-shirts it's automatically sorting them by which by which t-shirts are selling the best okay and you could also see price points you know so maybe that that can help you with you know what should I be pricing my t-shirts at um, I can click on here and I can actually go to the teespring campaign and view the shirt itself if I wanted to okay um, I can see when the t-shirt was created I can see if it's an active shirt right now that that you know they're making sales or if it's not okay so this is just the Teespring research, and this is great for monetizing your fan pages. And there's tons of people just absolutely killing it, doing six figures um, sometimes a week on Teespring. So this is um, a great monetization tool. Now, with retargeting, we have a retargeting app, OK? What you need to do, so if you don't know what retargeting is, basically when someone clicks on your link or lands on your page, they, they get a cookie on their computer. And that means that you can remarket to these people um, as many times as you want to through Facebook. Okay? Have you ever noticed when you go to um, a sales page or you go to a website that there's a banner or there's an ad that follows you around? Well, now you can do the exact same thing with Facebook retargeting. Okay? All you need to do is click on create new audience. Facebook provides you with a simple retargeting pixel. You just put in that retargeting pixel and say this was, you know, um, f for whatever. You know, we have a product called uh, Webinar Ignition, and um, say that uh, this was on a squeeze page. You know, we're we're driving people in to collect a lead. Um, we put in the landing page of it, and say that it's you know webinarignition.com forward slash um, leads or whatever you want to call it. You put in that retargeting pixel. Okay, and you click on save, and what happens is it, it is uh, social kickstart provides you with um, whoops, let me uh, you got to put in the retargeting pixel here. So what Facebook does is, or I'm sorry, what social kickstart does is it provides you with this unique link. Okay, now this link has your retargeting pixel all automatically inside of it. So whenever someone clicks on this link. Okay, they're going to go to the landing page here. Okay, and now you can set up a retargeting campaign inside of Facebook um, and only show ads, Facebook ads, to those people who are interested in whatever it is that you're promoting. Okay, because they clicked on your link, they've gone to the landing page. Maybe they didn't buy the first time, but you know, the second, third, or fourth time they will. Okay, so retargeting is extremely powerful, and this is a nice way um, to, uh, nice feature um, to remarket to those people. Okay. Now we also have um, the Facebook Ad Maker. Okay, the Ad Maker is something that's we're actually it's still in development right now. We should have it ready in just the next week or two. But um, what you can do is create a new Facebook ad, and you can use our image builder, and you can upload an image. You can put in text here. You can put in you know um, certain types of borders that you want to. It helps you to create viral Facebook images that you can use for advertising or for um, on your news feed uh, to, to grab their attention. Okay. So it's super easy to use. Um, we are we 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 have this new um, image library where we're going to have different viral images. We're going to have T-shirt images that you can work off of. So say that you're promoting a Teespring campaign, you'll be able to go in and choose one of our T-shirt templates, and then you can modify it how you how you see fits. Okay. So this is again this is a new feature. I just wanted to show you behind the scenes of one of the the new tools that that we're adding. Okay. We're going to continue to add more and more features as we build out the application. Now, the other thing that I wanted to show you guys was this user management section. Okay, This is extremely powerful because you can add 
um, you can add people to specific campaigns. So say that I wanted to add someone to, um, you know, say that I have a virtual assistant, right? Or people who are helping me uh, manage my Facebook marketing. Okay, I can click on add new user. I can put in their email address and I can go and select all the different campaigns that I want them to be able to have access to, okay? When, once they have access, they're only gonna have access to the campaigns that you allow them to. And now they can use the tools and features that um, are inside of Social Kickstart. So um, they can leverage this system, and you can and you can scale out your Facebook marketing by allowing your virtual assistants or other um, staff to use the tool. So um, again, the 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 core functionality of Social Kickstart is the ability to find content that goes viral very easily on other sources, and then pu republishing it onto your site or scheduling it. Okay, um, and as I said, guys, we're adding more and more tools every single um, week um, based on, on uh, your feedback. So now is the opportunity for you guys to jump in at a one-time lifetime um, fee without ever having to pay $99 per month um, to get access to this application. You'll get um, unlimited um, features that we add into the future and unlimited support. Okay guys, so hopefully by now you can see just how powerful this application is. So what I want you to do is um, take action today because this lifetime license is going to go very, very soon because we're going to be releasing this to the general public in just a few weeks and we're gonna have our three um, monthly plans available. Um, so now is the time to lock in charter access where you're gonna get, again, lifetime upgrades and updates as we continue to improve on this tool um, based on your feedback. We want you guys to get into the tool, start using it, and let us know what features and functionality that um, you guys want added that's not already in there now. So we're super excited to get you guys into the members area, into the application, and we'll see you guys on the other side. So um, go ahead and grab your, your charter member access now and we'll see you guys on the inside.